Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad to be back after a while. Um, I apologize for the gap in uploads. Um, I've been focusing on my fursuit building for my customers, and I also do admit I've been a bit lazy. <laughs> Isn't everyone a little lazy though? But I wanted to get back drawing a little bit, and that's why you're watching this now. This is actually one of the first videos of my series for drawing my favorite furries, so I'm really excited to kick it off. This is the first video I've done for this series, but it's not the first drawing. I have only done one drawing previous to this, and it's of Seether Cord on YouTube. I'll go ahead and let you look at the drawing here. I will also link his channel and Twitter in the description so you guys can check out his content if you'd like. In today's video, as you can see, maybe not yet, I'm drawing Zaros. He is a furry YouTuber and photographer, and I will also be linking his channel and Twitter in the description. I came across Zaros not too long ago, actually. I'm pretty sure it was sometime after the new year started. If I stand correctly, the first video I saw of his was about his poor experience with Lemon Brat fursuits. That video really caught my attention because I've always known Lemon Brat as a very rem the word. Reliable maker. He helped me find out the risks that I could potentially come across while working with them and Brad. In my honest opinion, I was kind of shocked about the many errors that they made while working on the first suit that Zara was commissioned. If you're interested in watching that video yourself or checking out his channel, you're welcome to. I highly recommend it because he expresses his points very clearly, but he's also a great person. So go ahead and do that if you'd like. As I mentioned before, Zaros happens to do photography as a hobby. I actually didn't know this until I stumbled across his Twitter. I thought it was cool to find that out because I also enjoy photography. I'm actually taking a class for it <laughs> for the next two years. He is a fairly new YouTuber, starting his channel back in August of 2018, but he has great content there. His videos almost always consist of him in his fursuit. He's been a part of the fandom for about three years at this point. Some may think that's not too long of a time, or some may think that's a long time. In my opinion, that's not too long of a time just because I have been a part of the fandom for about 9 years. Although, I also agree that it, it is a decent amount of time. But I do think it's very important for us to support fairly new furries, or furries that are getting used to life in the fandom. Anyway, I'm just glad to be back and uploading new videos again. I do apologize in advance if my uploads become slow. I am working for my customers and fursuit making takes a lot of time out of your day. It requires a ton of patience. So while I work on my suits, unfortunately you guys will have to be patient with me. Just know that whenever I get the chance, I will make a video for you all. I want to keep creating good content for you guys, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for my future content, please, please, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to listen to you guys and take your advice and suggestions. I guess that's going to be all for today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate all of your support in whatever form it may be. I love you guys. Please get a good night's sleep, drink some water, and don't forget that I love you all. See you guys later. Have a great day. Oh, and one more thing. Please enjoy the rest of the video. Please enjoy the music. I'll turn it up for you guys. Um, and my cat is walking across my keyboard. Thank you. So yeah, just please enjoy the rest of the video. Like I said before, feel free to listen to the music or play your own. And enjoy the rest of my drawing. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys later.